This is a snapshot of America. And there's some folks on the far left and some on the far right. But most of us are somewhere in between. Now this is our Congress. They're becoming so divided and so extreme that working together to solve problems seems impossible. Which explains why the last Congress had a ridiculously low approval rating of just 20%. But somehow, 95% of them got re-elected, which begs some big questions. The answer is because our representatives literally don't represent us. Because most of us don't elect them. Buckle up and we'll explain. Most of our voting happens in the general election, so we assume that's the election that matters. But it's not that simple. Today, 83% of congressional districts are so Democratic or so Republican that they're considered locked for one party or the other. And whichever party has a lock on the district will always have the winning candidate. So the general election is over before it even begins. That means the only election that actually matters is the one where each party picks their candidate. And that happens in the primary election. And here's the even bigger problem. Participation in primary elections is extremely low, and the voters that do participate tend to be the most partisan and the most ideologically extreme. The result is a small, often extreme minority of voters wind up deciding the vast majority of our elections. And that's how we keep getting a divided and dysfunctional Congress that fails to represent we, the people. Take 2020. Despite a record turnout in the general election, only 10% of all voters cast ballots in primaries. That effectively decided 83% of our congressional seats. Just 10%. This is the problem with partisan primaries. And it's the primary problem of our politics today. They create a system where hundreds of lawmakers only have to answer to the small, extreme base that elects and re-elects them. And the rest of us, the majority of us, don't matter. And neither do the problems we care about. The solution is actually simple. Our Constitution gives every state the freedom to replace their partisan primaries with a single, non-partisan primary. This will allow all voters to have the ability to support whichever candidate they want, regardless of party. The top finishers then advance to the general election where whoever earns a majority of votes wins. Several states have already adopted nonpartisan primaries, from Alaska to California. We just need more to follow. Together, we can fix the primary problem and put voters first. We can have a Congress that actually represents us and solves the problems we care about.